Hello everyone, have you ever run drones outdoors and running out of the batteries? In this case, like me. And especially for this kind of Pro 2 drones, in order to take the hyperlapse video, and you need the last last batteries. So in today's DIY project, I'm going to talk about how to make a portable charger to fix this problem for you. First, you need to purchase this 18650 uh, lithium battery cell. So in my case, I have 18 of them and I have put them into the, the spacer. So as you can see here, this is a spacer. So I just mount them. And be careful, you have to uh, uh, lay out the cells in this way. These are all the positive, positive, and this is the negative. So they will eventually, I will solder them like this, coming out from negative here, connect, goes to here and eventually goes to the BMS, the battery management circuit board. So which makes uh, the 3S balance charger for them. So this is step one. So the next step, I'm just going to use the high speed tool just to um, make the clean contact for uh, the positive and the negative. This, uh, this step is uh, pretty boring. Uh, and you can uh, just fast forward. So this is the starting of the negative. So it goes to 3.7. So basically these two rows need to be connected. And eventually will go to here positive and become 7.4. And the same thing again, these two rows has to be connected, fully meshed, and eventually come out here. So here and here we are going to, uh, and also uh, something somewhere here and here, and we also need to connect to the BMS board. All right, this is the this is the first the base negative. As you can see, they are all connected. And now it goes to here, they connect to the second layer and the positive. So now it's time just to connect these two groups. Let's make these two groups as a mesh. Okay. Within a few minutes, I also made a mesh connection here for the second layer. So as you can see it's very clear. The first one just by itself negative and it goes to here uh, positive and negative is a mesh. Then continue to here positive and negative is a mesh. So eventually the last one is all the positive has to be connected by just by themselves. No mesh. So be careful you have to deal with uh, the soldering very carefully because we are dealing with lithium cells. If there are anything causing shortcuts, well, good luck. It may cause fire or dynamite. Let's make the final connection. Okay, this is all the final. Let's just do a double check. Negative or connected. This is mesh. This is a mesh, then this is positive just by itself. Okay, so now the connection is good. So next, we just need a, a BMS board. The BMS board is a ba basically it's a balance charger and, uh, and also a discharger. So as you can see the board here, this is just the negative and it says B1, B2, B+. This pair of power basically is just your charging and discharging wire. So as you can see on the reverse side, it marks clearly on this is 0, 7.4, 3.7, and this is 11. So uh, the B1 is 3.7. So basically B1 has to go here, and B2, which is 7.4, has to go here. So basically B1 has to go here, B2 has to go here. Okay? And eventually this one it goes to the uh, 
monitoring the eleven dot one, the twelve valve, and this is negative. So let's make the connection. In order to fix this board on the surface of these uh, cells, I just use uh, a double side tape. I'll put this one very nicely on top of this uh, double side tape. The next, just to make the connection, because there's a twist, so um, I just go inside. So basically, this one has to connect to here. So once B run connection is done, I have to go lay out the wire from inside. So in order to not causing any problem due to um, such as overheat or any reason, I decide to uh, using the, the black tape just to uh, isolate the wire. As you can see that this is just isolated. As I just mentioned, uh, this just to prevent any unknown reason, maybe it's overheat or something causing the problem that uh, um, the coating of the 18650 may break, in that case causing the problem for uh, those wires. Eventually, this one will be connected to here. So I made the cut. Okay, now the B1 connection is pretty solid. I'm doing the same thing for the B2. Okay, I'm doing the same thing uh, to uh, isolate the wire for uh, using the black tape just to. Uh, Now I can connect to any of the one here. All right, that was okay. The connection to here and here are good. Maybe I just. Uh, Put a small tape here as well, just for this lens. You can see I just uh, tape this one as well. In fact, I, I don't need to do this because the wire, the copper wire I'm using has extra coating on them. So uh, this definitely is just something extra. Uh, extra it's not that kind of necessary but anyways just to make this project because I'm dealing with 18 of those uh, 18650 cells so I have to be a little bit more careful doing that so now the connection for this one is good so um, I just make a, a check so B1 3.7 goes to here and uh, goes to this tire that's correct, this is meshed. And B2, 7.4 under here, and uh, goes to here. This basically this tire. Then this one will go to the final connections to here and here. This makes those short connections here. That is very easy one.
this one, B2. This is monitoring the, the B2, and finally this one is for uh, 12. Okay, so now everything is it's beautifully done. Um, so basically this one is for uh, 18. So the next one I just need to uh, make adapters for a uh, charging, and also for uh, uh, for the discharging for the DJI batteries. That's next. So the next step, I'm going to make a housing for that because this one just need a nice housing. Uh, there are so many many ways you can use 3D printer, but in this case, I'm not prefer. So I'm not going to recommend 3D printer because it's too costly, just for those uh, PVC material. Um, I'm instead, it's a such simple housing. So I'm going to use this. Uh, kind of uh, birch wood just to using the glue and uh, to make this housing so let's do that So with everything ready, so I'm going to put all those uh, carpenter screw on it. All right, let's wait for everything to dry it up. Okay, this is eventually the cap I made. So as you can see, I can mount my contact. On top of it. So this is going to be the contact one, the positive, and also this is for the negative. So I think my plan is eventually I can hook up this uh, my contact to here and eventually those uh, uh, will be make connections inside so I can either do charge here or discharge from here. And I'm going to put a hinge here so basically if anything go wrong I can open up the cap so uh, to, uh, to see what happens inside. All right, I've finished the connections on the BMS board. So everything is nice here. I'm going to make a cut here. The next step, I'm going to uh, install those small hinge. So uh, since this is too tiny, I'm going to pre-drill So I'm going to preach your four small holes here in order to install the hinge. So for a job like this, you just need a high speed tool. So 
now it's much easier to install those hinge. Okay, one side is good. So I just need to... Uh, another side. Yeah, this side you especially you need uh, the pre-drill. Otherwise, it's very easy just to uh, mess up the the birch. While you're dealing with all those stuff, you have to be very careful, don't uh, drop your uh, small stuff into the, the circuits, otherwise, uh, well, it might cause some shortcuts, you never know. Okay, see? Now everything is nice. So I can open this one, and can put down this one. Okay, now it's the almost like final of this project. I just need to uh, sand this one to uh, sew. Okay, so then uh, I can make the sew much easier on top of this two uh, cap. This is the last one I sewed in the, the wires red to those uh, the cap. So basically you can uh, uh, charge and uh, you can also open the box to see what happens inside yeah everything is very firmly soldered okay now everything is the testing phase you, you can see uh, this is a uh, uh, cigarette charger female you just connect to the contact this is just the regular DJI charge hub and also, as you can see, this is just a cigarette charger I purchased from eBay. This is not original, but uh, it works very well. And whenever you want to charge, you just push in. So then uh, this battery will just blink and charge. This makes perfect for outdoor charging. You're just carrying this uh, uh, small stuff. And uh, if you want to charge indoor, so basically you just take it off. The cigarette charger, and this is the one power adapter 12 volt, which is very large ampere, six quarter. Um, so uh, this is very powerful one. So whenever you want to charge, and you just uh, connect it. So you just make the connection. And charge the batteries so uh, okay so this is my DIY project for outdoor use to charge your DJI Marvic or any kinds of the DJI 2 Pro and uh, in the field so if you have valuable comments please put under my YouTube channel and also if you like my channel please give a thumb up or just subscribe to my channel and thank you for your support and watching